Hi there! In this video, I will explain the functions and features of the SAS version of the BookNetic plugin to you. Let's start with the installation of the plugin. Installation and use of the plugin are as simplified as possible. All you have to do is to select the required plugin file and upload it to the website. The rest will be done automatically by WordPress. When the plugin installation process is complete, click the Activate button. You'll see the BookNetic on the menu. Head over to the menu. You'll see a page requiring the purchase code from us. You copy the purchase code from the Envato market and paste it here. In the other input, you need to select where you heard about the plugin. You enter your email address and click the Install button. Loading will take a short time. Once the loading is complete, the system will be fully available to you. You will be automatically redirected to the Super Admin panel of the SAS version. As you can see, the Super Admin panel, like the BookNetic dashboard, is a dedicated panel separated from the WordPress menu. Other WordPress menus will not interrupt you to manage your business from this panel easily. Now, let's look at the necessary configurations for the plugin to work. First, you need to create the three WordPress pages that tenants need to register and use your system. 1. Sign-in page. 2. Sign up page. 3. Booking page. When you create each one, you can add and save the appropriate short codes using the prepared BookNetic blocks in your editor. Then we go to the BookNetic SAS panel. In general settings, we select and save the sign in page, sign up page, and booking page, respectively. We have completed the basic configuration. Now, we can see how the pages we added to our site will look like. Now let's take a look at the BookNetic SAS Super Admin panel. When you go to the panel, the first thing you will see is the dashboard module. This module shows brief statistics about the system. Total number of registered tenants, total number of booked appointments, income of the month, and income of the previous month. The next module is the tenants module. You can see a list of registered tenants, easily find the required tenant using the extensive filters, make changes to them, delete them, or add a new tenant. The process of adding a new tenant through the admin panel is very convenient. You can simply fill in the necessary information about the tenant, select the plan you want to give it, and save it. The next module is the payments module, where you can control the payments made by tenants. Here, you can easily find the specific payment using a wide range of filters. The next module is the Plans module. Here, you can create required plans using a wide range of functionality and configuration options. Click the Add Plan button to create a new plan. The first stage is the Detail stage, where we have the opportunity to name the plan, choose the appropriate color, set a monthly and annual price, add a discount for the first month or the first year. If we don't want the plan to appear for tenants, we can hide it. If you want to allow customers who have received this plan to remove branding, you can also adjust it here. The next step is to step the modules and functions that are allowed to be used by the tenants who will receive this plan. All the modules and functions included in the BookNetic systems are here, and you can activate the modules in the necessary plans. In the last step, you can set limits. For example, how many locations, staff, services can be added by tenants, how many SMS, emails, WhatsApp messages can be sent during the month. Let's add three different plans together as an example, and let's configure them as required. Let's add the second plan.
And finally, let's add the latest pro plan. We've added our plans. This is the process of adding plans. The next module is the notifications module, where you can send email notifications to the registered tenants. Currently, five types of notifications are available. Confirm signup, which tenants will receive in an email to confirm their email addresses in the first registration stage. Signup completed. Tenants will receive this notification via email when registration is complete. Subscribed. Tenants will receive this notification when they subscribe to any plan. Unsubscribed. Tenants will receive this notification when they unsubscribe from any plan. Payment received. Tenants will receive this notification when they make monthly or annual payments. You can configure all these notifications as you want using the available short tags. You can turn off notifications that you don't need. The next module is the settings module. Here you will see four main menus, general settings, payment settings, email settings, integration settings. Let's take a look at each one. General settings. Here you can do other configurations along with the pages we just selected. For example, you can change the start number of the appointments, change the text of the Powered By sign, activate the Google Maps API, and also activate the Google reCAPTCHA in the booking page to prevent spam bookings. Payment Settings This main menu consists of two submenus, General Payment Settings and Payment Method. In the General Payment Settings, you can configure the currency and pricing format. In the Payment Methods, you can configure the payment methods that the tenants will use to subscribe. There are currently two types of payment methods, Stripe and PayPal. You can activate any payment method. You can change the order of payment methods. Let's activate and configure the Stripe method together. After going to the Stripe website, go to the API Keys submenu in the Developers menu and copy the publishable key. Then repeat the same process for the secret key. Then you need to add a webhook. Go to the webhook submenu on the Stripe and click the Add Endpoint button. We copy the input URL from Booknetic and paste it to the required input. Then type the description. In the version section, select the latest version. After selecting the specified widgets, click the Add Endpoint button. We copy the singing secret, add it to Booknetic, and save it. Tenants will now be able to subscribe to your plans using Stripe. The next setting is email settings. Here you need to fill in the SMTP information so that the tenants can receive the necessary notifications. There are two types of email gateways, SMTP and WordPress mail. Integration settings. Here, you can integrate services such as Google Calendars, SMS, WhatsApp, and Zoom. You can also add the Continue with Facebook and Continue with Google buttons to the booking panel from these settings. All the documentation for these integrations is available on the website. Now let's show the registration of the tenant. Go to the sign up page on the website. Here, the tenant enters his name, email, and password and clicks the continue button. An email is sent to confirm the email address. As we mentioned earlier in email notifications, you can customize this email's text as you wish. The tenant goes to the confirmation link in the email and goes to the next registration page. 
First, the tenant types a unique URL to the booking page. Then fill in the information about the company and complete the registration. Upon completion of registration, an individual dashboard is created for the tenant, and the tenant will be able to go there and automate his company's booking process. Tenants can take his booking URL by entering the Share Your Booking page menu. The booking URL of the tenant looks like this. Send it via email, or copy the required HTML code from here to embed it into your website. As it is WordPress, you can design pages according to your request. The booking page we created at the beginning of the video was for this feature. The tenant can then go to his billing page, check his payments, and upgrade his plans. After clicking the Upgrade Plan button, he'll see the plans we added to the Super Admin panel. After selecting the plan, the tenant will be directed to the payment page to choose one of the payment methods you have activated. Upon completion of payment, it will be automatically returned to the billing page. The tenant can see information about the subscription, the next payment date, and the tenant can also cancel the subscription. During each transaction, the tenant will be provided with appropriate email notifications. The tenant will benefit from the system following the allowed modules and limits of the chosen plan. These modules are all modules in the Booknatic program. All your tenants will be able to use these modules individually. Tenants can add services, location, staff, create their own custom forms through the form builder, change the design of the booking panel with the appearance module, use PayPal, Stripe, local payment methods, email, SMS, WhatsApp notifications, coupons, and invoice to create a full booking system. They will also be able to automate their online meetings through Zoom integration. In short, they'll be able to take full advantage of Booknetic. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. 